in the previous tutorial we have learned some of the basic commands the link to previous tutorial is given in the description and it will also show in the upper right corner of your video in this tutorial we will be creating some drawings we will be creating this drawing this drawing and this drawing let's start with this drawing now these drawings are in millimeter therefore we will be using a CAD ISO as a template click here and select a CAD ISO at first we will check the unit for unit give you n enter uh, here decimal is correct we want decimal precision is correct then angle is ok then we want insertion scale set to millimeter so all the default settings are suitable for our drawing click on ok we will start this drawing from this point at first we will create this line of 100 50 80 and 50 click on line then give the first point take your cursor away if your line is not coming straight then you will have to make this polar tracking on then your line will come straight automatically then give the length of 100 enter then take your cursor above give the length of 50 enter now the object is very small we will have to zoom it for zooming take your cursor to the object and rotate your middle mouse button or mouse wheel towards monitor and it will zoom plus just pan it by pressing the middle mouse button and dragging the mouse below then take it ahead and give the length of 80 enter again take it below give the length of 50 enter the next is 150 100 and 150 then again take it ahead Give the length of 150, enter, take it above, give the length of 100, enter, then again 150, enter. Just zoom minus for that rotate middle mouse button towards you and pan it. Then this vertical length is not given, but we know this is 100 and this total length is 250. That means this length will be this 250 minus this 100. That is 150 and again this length is 150 and this is 50. Take it above, give the length of 150, enter. Now I want to create this line of the same length up to this point. So take your cursor to this point, don't click there, just hold it for some time and take it away. So it will track that point and you just have to click. So it will automatically Catch the length up to that point. Then click, take it below, give the length of 50, enter. Then again, we want this length up to this point. So take your cursor to this point and take it above and click. Again, take it above. Ensure that it is straight, give the length of 50, enter. Then again, up to this point, and we will have to close this shape. Again track this point and click and click on close. So it will complete the line command and our external shape is ready. Then next is this circle of 60 diameter. Now it is at the center of this square of 150 by 150 size. Click here and select center diameter. Then take your cursor. To this midpoint don't click there then take your cursor to this midpoint again don't click there and take your cursor in the center so it will track those two points and it will locate the center of this square click there then give the diameter of 60 enter then next is circle of radius 40 at the distance of 80 from this horizontal line and at the distance of 115 from this vertical line. Now this total length is 150 plus 80 
that is 230 that means this 115 is half of this 230 so what we will do we'll just track this midpoint and give the length of 80 then click here and select center radius then track this point and give the length of 80 enter and give radius of 40 enter so this shape is ready then to start new drawing click on this plus sign so it will start the drawing automatically with iso template so whatever template you have selected for the first drawing that will be applied automatically to second drawing and if we check the units the units are same so we want it like that only so we will click on ok then next is this drawing now we will start this drawing from this point we will create this line of 75 length then this line at angle of 45 and length is 135 click on line give the first point take your cursor away give length of 75 enter then zoom there then take it above then give the length of 135 then to specify the angle you will have to press tab once press tab then give the angle of 45 and enter then again on this side the length is 135 and this angle we want 45 take it below and give the length of 135 tab now we will need angle from this horizontal line so we know this angle is 45 that means the angle from this horizontal line will also be 45 so give the angle of 45 enter take your cursor ahead give the length of 75 enter take it above give the length of 75 enter then again on this side length is 135 press tab now the angle with this vertical line will be 45 and we need to define this total angle that means this angle will be this 90 plus this 45 that is 135 so we need to define this complete angle so angle will be 135 enter and again give the length of 135 tab now this angle is 45 enter the zoom minus pan it below take it above give the length of 75 enter 75 enter again on this side give the length of 135 then tab now we need to specify this total angle as we know this angle is 45 that means this angle will be 180 minus 45 that is 135 so give here angle of 135 enter then again take your cursor above give length of 135 tab this angle will be again 135 give 135 enter give 75 75 now we can also use object snap tracking we want this line in line with this line so just take your cursor to this point and take it above now it is not extending this tracking line for that you will have to make extension object snap on for that click here and click on extension so that it will extend that tracking line again take your cursor to this point and take it above so it is showing the tracking line give the length of 135 enter you can also use the parallel object snap because we want this line parallel to this line so what we have to do just press shift right click and select parallel object snap then take your cursor to this line because we want line parallel to this line and take it away so now it is tracking parallel to that previous line give the length of 135 enter and click on this end point and enter then next is to create these two circles one is of 80 diameter and other is of 60 radius click here click on center radius 
then to locate the center point take your cursor to this point then take your cursor to this point and take your cursor at the center now actually it is tracking the extension point to cancel this tracking point just zoom it so it will cancel the tracking point again take your cursor here then take your cursor here and take your cursor to the center and give the radius of 60 enter then click here click on center diameter then take this center point give the diameter of 80 enter so this object is also ready then next is this object again click on this plus to start new drawing now units are same so we will not check that at first we will create these two lines up to 25 and other line of 300 at the angle of 150 click on line give the first point give the direction give the length of 225 enter then zoom it click on this side give the length of 300 then for angle press tab now we know that this angle is 150 but we have to specify angle from this horizontal line as this is 150 that means this will be 180 minus 150 that is 30 degree enter and enter to stop the line command then create these circles 22.5 and 45 radius click here and select center radius give the center point click the center point give the radius of 22.5 enter you can repeat the previous command by pressing enter enter give the center point give the radius of 45 enter then 90 and 60 radius again press enter give the center point radius of 90 enter enter specify center point give the radius of 60 enter then 30 and 15 again enter give the center point radius of 15 enter enter give the center point give the radius of 30 enter then we need to create tangent lines for that click on line command then to specify tangent object snap manually press shift right click and click on this tangent and click again shift right click tangent click enter you can also select object snap automatically for that click here and select tangent object snap as we have seen in the previous tutorial if quadrant and center is on then it creates problem so we will remove it from auto selection so that tangent can be clicked properly again click on line click here now it is showing tangent object snap click enter to repeat the line command press enter click click enter again enter click click and enter so this drawing is also ready in the next tutorial we will learn some more basic commands and we will also learn how to create drawing in imperial units that is feet and inches so thanks for watching we will stop here